Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you a new little piece that I recently picked up from the Louis Vuitton store a couple of days ago. So before I reveal what it is, I wanted to give a little quick background story. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may already know what I'm about to talk about, but here it is anyways. So about this time last year, I uh, got the Rosalie coin purse from Louis Vuitton as an anniversary present. And I love that wallet so much. I used it and used it and used it all the time. Uh, by about the eight month mark, I decided to uh, send it into the repair center for a couple of reasons. One was that the glazing on the sides had started to crack where the flap opened up and I wanted to get that repaired before my one year mark kind of went by with the warranty situation. Also, I asked them to re uh, to replace the leather button on the Rosalie because that does wear away. It does get dirty over time. So I did opt to pay for that to have that replaced. So I sent it off, eight weeks went by. I uh, got a, a message from the store where I dropped it off that it was ready to be picked up. So I asked for them to mail it to me, which they did overnight, which was really, really nice. When I received it and I opened it up and I took it out of the little bag, I was immediately disappointed. Uh, first of all, the glazing was replaced, was fixed on the sides. That was fine. I was happy with that. They repaired that just fine. However, they hadn't replaced the button like I requested and I put a work order in for that. And also the flap area uh, where the wallet closes on the edge had damage. And that was, it looked like it was uh, from a heat gun or it was scratched or whatever. It was pretty noticeable for me. I will pop a picture up so you guys can have a look and see what you think. But I was mad because it was not like that when I dropped it off. So I contacted the store where I dropped it off straight away that day. Um, and I texted some pictures to one of the essays there. He got in touch with the store manager. She got in touch with the with me, of course, pretty quickly and the repair center, but the repair center didn't get back to her. So she did message me back probably about a week later after communicating back and forth with me and the repair center and offered to replace the Rosalie for me uh, as a um, one-time situation. So I, I thought that was wonderful and I agreed to do that. I, I ended up verifying with her that I could either get another Rosalie or I could use the current retail price for the Rosalie to pick something else out. I could add extra money. So we went down there, I think it was Wednesday and I had a look around. I had looked at reviews and things like that beforehand to figure out if I wanted something else or wanted another Rosalie. I didn't end up going with another Rosalie uh, coin purse. And for basically the reasons as to why I had to send it in to get repaired and replaced in the first place, I didn't want to deal with the leather button um, wearing away chipping over time. I didn't want to do, deal with uh, glazing cracking issues, even though there's always the chance of a glazing cracking issue on a Louis Vuitton piece. So I ended up deciding to get something else. And because of financial reasons, I had to go with something that was around the same price range, but a little bit more. So without any ado, let me show you what I ended up choosing. So they did give it to me in a box. I was a little bit surprised that they only keep one or two of these items in stock at a time. And they're basically what everybody touches, what everybody plays with. So I did ask for one at the back and they said, no, well, you have to have the one that you've been looking at. And I said, well, everybody else has touched and played with this. Is there a fresh one that I could get? They're like, no, that's the only one we have. So I thought that was a little bit weird. Um, as it was, the one that I did purchase was fine. It didn't have any issues with it. I just would have preferred, considering you're paying so much, I would have thought they would have had one, you know, brand new, but you know. So here we are here. So I did buy something to use as a wallet. So we'll give you that hint. And this is what I ended up choosing. Now this is the Empreinte Leather Key Pouch uh, in black. And there are a couple of reasons why I went with this one. Uh, first of all, I really, really wanted something in the Empreinte Leather. My husband has a wallet from uh, in that material and it is gorgeous and I love it. So I did want to get something in Empreinte. And I wanted something with a metal button. I didn't want to deal with those covered buttons, even though some of the designs for wallets are beautiful in that. I just, I didn't want to do that. So, and I wanted something thin 
and compact. Now this was a lot bigger than I anticipated it would be when I saw it in person, but that's okay because it works just fine for what I need and it's still very thin, so it still fits in a lot of things that I carry. So let me give you a quick look at the key pouch real quick and I'll go over some ways that I have been using it and one way that I did alter this a little bit. Now if you're a Louis Vuitton Advid fan, you you may be hating on me right now for even going down that road, but I am very much about function about functionality. So if something can be altered a little bit that really doesn't uh, impact the piece, then I will do it. I have done it before to my um, Speedy right here. This was a vintage piece, so it didn't really matter. This one is a exchange, it's a final sale, so I don't even think that the warranty really applies here. So anyways, <laughs> I digress. Let's get into looking at this particular piece here. So what I did notice is this is one piece of leather. So it starts here at the flap here and you do have glazing around the sides and it actually goes all the way around to, see there's no, there's no um, attach, it, it's just one piece, it folds around to the front here. So that's kind of nifty. I do like that so that you only have glazing on the side here, on the edges of the flap and on the other side. Uh, there is a zip compartment at the back with a metal zipper which has Louis Vuitton on there and this zipper is nice and smooth. It's pretty good. I like it. It does have a leather zi uh, zipper pull and when you open it up there is the metal button obviously nothing else on the front here, no other pockets, but that's okay. I really do like how the indentation of the LVs and, and, and such are on here, which is really nice. And then on the inside, because this is a key pouch, there is a key fob that's attached, was, was attached just like the uh, key clay that I have. There's a little hook right here, and then there was this attached on the inside. Now, I am not planning on using this for my keys, so I didn't really need this, so I decided to remove it. <laughs> so what I did is I got two little plies that you use for jewelry making. I got on either side of the little ring that attached this to this little hook right here, and I just separated the ring with the pliers very gently, unhooked it, and took this off because I really want to use this as a wallet. Now in order to still have this functional that I can use it if I want to, I attached a little hook on the end here, you can see here, hang on, and that way I can actually, I know it's silver, I didn't have a gold one, <laughs> I can actually attach that into, onto this little thing right here if I wanted to, let me show you, very easy, like that, and I can actually still use this long chain if I wanted to for keys or whatever. And my key fob does fit in there. This is the key fob that I use. So I don't need keys for the ha house. I just have one for the car. So this does fit in here just fine. But what I ended up doing instead of using this long chain, because I don't really like the long chain, but I still have the option here, right? If I wanted to, I actually attached a little, another little lobster clip on the end of my keys. And I can just attach that to the hook right here and pop it in and it works just fine. And I actually think this is better. I'd, I, I'd prefer to have a shorter key attachment than the long key chain. What I wanna do is I wanna show you um, how I have been using it and also how many cards and things can fit in here because it is pretty nifty. So I have here, I think it's about 13 to 15 cards. These are all just store cards and credit cards and things. And you can actually fit, fit that into this section right here and it closes up and you can fit some more cards or cash back in this section if you wanted to. So that's just to give you an idea of how many cards this thing can hold. It's very, very cool. Uh, the way that I have been personally using it, I only carry four cards. Okay, that's it. I don't carry many cards at all. Everything's on my phone basically. So I can either have those cards in this front front section like this and put coins and stuff in the back or if I do have cash I can put my cards into this slot back here which by the way the lining of this is a PVC material which I thought was a little bit weird but the rest of the uh, pouch is leather and that zips up fine and then I actually do have some cash on me so I have some 
bills here. Now you do you do have to fold these. Um, this isn't quite long enough to fit it in this way. So I don't have a problem with folding my money. That fits nicely inside of there, okay? And then I do have some coins here as well. You can see that, some coins. It's kind of hard to show you. Uh, probably about a dollar or so worth of coins. And I found that if I pop that kind of in the corner there, that works great too. So I have cash in the front section, coins, uh, sorry, cards in the back section. And it's really cool. It's really nice and thin. Here's my key clay, which I do use for keys and a wallet at, on occasion, just next to it like this. Okay. It's a little bit longer. It's um, a, probably a little bit thicker and a little bit taller, but it is a really, really good size. This fits in all my bags practically. And I am really enjoying this so far. I love the on front leather. I think this is going to wear really, really nicely. I will come back and do a kind of updated uh, wear and tear after about six months or so with you guys to tell you how I, how it's been going. Uh, but I just love how it's just easy to hold, very easy to hold. And I do really like not having that keychain in in the center because if I had, let me let me show you for for instance. Say I didn't remove it and I had it like this and I was using it exactly how I showed you. I mean, I could pop pop this back there, no problem, and it's not a big deal. But it does kind of bulk it out a little bit. It can get in the way. It kind of you know. Let me, you know so I just I don't know. I like having the option to remove it. I think Louis Vuitton would do well with maybe thinking about having just a little, just a little one of their clips on the end there so you could take it on and off if you wanted to. Just makes things a little bit more functional and have more options. So there you go guys, there's my little review and kind of test packing showing you how I use the Louis Vuitton key pouch in Emprunt leather. I absolutely adore this. Um, I'm very happy. I don't really miss my uh, Rosalie because I haven't used it for eight weeks either. I've been using other things and I just like that I'm not going to have to worry about any, you know, chippy. Well, uh, this, this may wear, this may scratch and stuff, but and I'll have to keep an eye on the glazing, but otherwise I just love it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, if you have any questions or comments about this particular item, please, uh, leave a comment down below. If you did like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing it really helps out my channel and I will see you for the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.